Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. We often talk about the weather, especially when it gets cold and dreary, so we thought it might be fun to share some statistics from LaGrange's winter weather history. The National Weather Service, a branch of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, issues forecasts and records weather statistics. Our local recording station is at the LaGrange Callaway Airport. LaGrange's record low, a negative 10 degrees, occurred on February 13, 1899. This was recorded during the early years of the National Weather Service when it was still called the Weather Bureau. They are official records, but we don't know where the recording station was located or who took those records. Local newspapers are some of our source for that information. 20th century cold waves were better documented. The LaGrange Daily News headline of January 21, 1985 declared five below zero, coldest day of the century. Indeed it was. Temperatures have not dipped to that level since. On that day, Noonan hit negative eight, Auburn negative seven, and Columbus negative two, all-time record lows. The extreme cold front even pushed into Cuba. Ice is our biggest wintertime nemesis. One of our worst ice storms struck in late January 1961. The city and surrounding area shut down for several days under a blanket of ice. The National Weather Service reports LaGrange's average snowfall as 0.4 inches per year. Yes, that warrants school closings and making a run to the local convenience store for milk and bread. Measuring snow accumulation is tricky business. A storm that brings a couple of inches to one part of the town might leave only a dusting just down the road. On November 12, 1968, LaGrange residents reported flakes as big as a silver dollar. The one inch accumulation was one of the earliest on record. Springtime snow flurries are not rare. The latest reported a occurred on the 8th of April in 1920. On February 27th, 1914, the LaGrange reporter noted the heaviest snowfall in 20 years, but failed to tell us how much. On January 24th of 1955, the first snowfall in LaGrange for several years made the front page news. In spite of the problems they might bring, we can always find ways to enjoy the novelty of snow and ice. In January 1970, when ice covered the practice fields at LaGrange High, Murtis Carpenter gave her physical education students impromptu skating lessons. Later that day, she entertained passers-by with a skating demonstration in the fountain on the square. To learn more about winter weather in LaGrange, visit Legacy Museum on Main or maybe visit the ice rink at Sweetland. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.